What is up guys and welcome back to Lesser Athletes, my name is Charlie and today like always another interesting video for you here on the channel, NFL players that have boosted their stock. Um, so basically boosting their stock, maybe you don't know the term, most of you probably do know the term, but just in case, um, basically it's talking about players that maybe people didn't expect to be as good as they are, this could also be excelling expectations, uh, just people that are going to buy into players that um, are starting to do better and start realizing that they're better than they are before, um, yeah we're going to be talking about this there's five on here most of them are going to be probably qb because it's obvious to see players that are doing better because of qb by this time um it's hard to say maybe uh for example a tight end or i mean tight end's kind of obvious too maybe like a d lineman maybe they're just getting pressures no sacks but they're still doing decent um it's hard to say they have done so amazing so worse it's gonna have to be like big changing um but qb is the obvious one to spot out so yeah um make sure to like and subscribe on the video 93 percent of you guys aren't subscribed the goal is six to or the goal is 20 to 30 percent not six percent we've already hit that sadly um, but yeah, 23%. Hopefully we hit it by the end of the year. But other than that, let's get started. So first off for me is obviously Anthony Richardson. Man, this guy is looking nice for the Colts. Um, I did not expect Anthony Richardson to be a good day one starter for the Colts. I'm not even going to lie. Um, it was pretty obvious to me that Anthony Richardson would be a decent quarterback. Uh, it just worried me with the, the decision making uh, and, you know, decision making and plans when it came to throwing the ball um he's obviously someone that can run the ball two rushing touchdowns in the first two game or uh for the second game um against the texans amazing amazing start to that game sadly got out due to a concussion but anthony richardson is easily someone that I'm buying in on him. I think he's going to be the future for the Colts. The ability to run plays like that and the ability to still be able to throw the ball. He still has an arm. Um, the accuracy is going to be the only thing, but I still think that that's going to be someone that he can work on. Um, Anthony Richardson is going to be someone that is just amazing. I did not expect anything like this this fast, truthfully, um, because there was times that he had excellent plays and then times that he had not as good plays when it came to florida um and then for him to get drafted fourth was kind of shocking but then now look at it definitely worth it uh so yeah anthony richardson is someone that i'm buying in on up next is puka nakua someone else that i think a lot of people are going to uh really love i might not love him as much as everyone else does um i still think he's a very good player i think he's going to be wire receiver two for the los angeles rams when it comes down to it um because when cooper cup comes back obviously wire receiver one but Matthew Stafford always makes his wire receivers, I feel like, amazing. I would not be shocked to see uh, Puka Nakua be someone that's really good for the next couple years. But is he going to keep continuing the way he's done now, which is, like, be the best player wide receiver-wise in the NFL? Probably not. But he is definitely going to be someone that is still uh, really high up there and someone that I think is going to be, you know, worth uh, looking at as someone as a feature wide receiver one for a team um i think he could be a future wide receiver one for the los angeles rams um i think when cooper cup is kind of done and matthew stafford maybe it's gone and maybe another player is using him but he's still someone that i think just gets the game right and it's going to work well puka Nuku is just an excellent wide receiver right now up next is jordan love another player another qb we're talking about um did not expect jordan love to do as good as he uh did um the third game against the Saints at the beginning was kind of slow. The Saints defense is very good. I do have to say that. Um, but for him to, you know, bounce back from such a, uh, it was a bad, it was about to be a bad loss. It was, it was like 17 zero at one point, 17 three. And then coming back, that's a really good comeback. Uh, even for Jordan love, you could say maybe it's cause James Winston got injured and they couldn't really do the offense. Well, Whatever it might be, Jordan Love's still a great player. Uh, I think they're now... I think they lost first week to the Falcons. Did, who did they go? I don't know. Was that second week? Second week, they lost to the Falcons. First week, they beat the Bears. So they're 2-1 and one right now. Jordan Love looks really good. He looks poised. He looks like he's now learning how to run the ball too, which he did a lot in that third game, which was really good for him. Um, someone that I'm just excited to see for the Packers. I think it's going to be their QB moving forward for the next two seasons. And if he keeps continuing uh, his, you know, excellent play, then I think it's going to be more than that. Up next is Baker Mayfield. Another player that I'm not fully buying in on, but I am somebody that uh, is 
definitely excelling expectations than what before um depending i'm not gonna lie i'm recording this on the day of monday night football so depending on what could happen for monday night football baker mayfield is still someone that um i would consider really high up there um i really want to see what baker mayfield does for um um tampa bay buccaneers for a time come maybe uh, after this video he is horrible not that good against the eagles which if you're saying that I can't really agree with you because the Eagles are so good defensively. I think that if, if he has a bad game, he's still someone that is excelling expectations uh, from the past two games. If he does really good against them, then he's really excelling expectations. If he somehow beats them, oh my god. The Buccaneers, that's crazy. Um, but Baker Mayfield someone that I really do want to see. Uh, I think he's a good starting quarterback or backup in this league. I really want to see what's a team that really needs a start the jets if the jets can make a move for the buccaneer uh from the buccaneers to maybe get a baker mayfield um so the buccaneers can start doing a little worse maybe get a better quarterback for the future i think that would be very nice for them um because i think that baker mayfield is good when he's in a good system and i think a system like the buccaneers is it worked for tom brady and baker mayfield i'm not saying has taught is not tom brady but i'm saying he kind of plays like a tom brady where uh Tom Brady never rush. Tate Baker may fucking kind of rush. Uh, accurate quarterbacks that aren't going to go for the huge, huge plays immediately, um, but will just be poised in the pocket. Baker may feel kind of plays like that, but still. Um, very interesting to say. And last, uh, but certainly not least, uh, Tua. Tua is someone that has obviously excelled expectations. Did anyone else believe that Tua was going to be an MVP? Because i didn't i'll be honest i did not expect Tua to be a potential mvp candidate but after the the murdering of uh beating a dead horse or a bronco you could say um tua is definitely someone that i have to say is up there for the mvp race having more touchdowns and incompletions um having an explosive offense and you can't blame uh you can't say Oh, Tua's only doing good because he has Tyree Kill and he has um, Jalen Waddle and his running backs are really good. And uh, you can't say that. Tua is still making progress with that and still doing very good with his team because of... And, you know, if he was a lower-end quarterback, I don't think the players would have explosive offense. You can't say Tua's not helping it out. Um, Dolphins look very nice. I'm excited to see what they're what they're gonna do, what their ceiling is gonna be. But other than that, man, Dolphins they're coming up. The fins are coming up. Fins up for real. Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. A very fun video to make. Um, I'm excited to see what's gonna go on for the NFL season. You know who's gonna keep their expectations high. Who's gonna drop from this list? Um, my guess would be Baker Mayfield is going to probably drop from this list. Another player that I would probably say drop is Puka Nakua. We're going to have to see, but then I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.